The EVE Vanguard playtest is underway. Since there are only four days of playtime, you'll want to get up to speed as soon as possible. Here are my top tips that you may have missed. First up is the extraction beacon. You don't need clear skies in order to extract and it can be deployed under cover. The only limitation appears to be how flat the ground is where you're trying to deploy it. You're also not required to stay within the zone the entire time it is up. You can deploy it, hide behind cover and then jump in at the last second. Speaking of extraction, you can also use an enemy player's beacon. This can be a pro or a con depending on where you are in your missions. Extracting at the end of the game would probably be beneficial. If you're on a roll dominating the map, maybe not. An important point to note is that the current build you cannot extract with players that are not in your squad. So bad luck teaming up on the fly. Shields are currently bugged. If you find your shots no longer registering, chances are they've dropped a shield. It's invisible but still effective in the first few moments. Get to cover. You may already be aware that you can shoot out of a shield, but you can also run inside and beat down the person who placed it. Once you're in, the shield works just like it's yours, and you are able to freely shoot out. Melee is very effective in this game. Levy Thunder has already taught us how lethal it can be in the right hands. Two strikes to kill an opposing player, but you can also use it on NPCs and ground level turrets. Four hits on a turret is enough to bring it down, which is useful when you're trying to minimise noise. Another useful tip is you can heal whilst aiming down sights. It only works one way though, you have to ADS then press button to 3, it does not work the other way around. When running the mission inroads, you have to first craft an eye component before you can then craft a decryptor key. This caught me out when I first ran this mission type. Alternatively you can loot the eye components near the core, or the decryptor key itself from other players. The objective will only show up green once you have the key in your possession. The amount of clones in reserve is 3, if you try and bank additional biomass, the option will not work. Avoid the acid pool, there is nothing there but death. Or, more seriously, there are no resources, limited mobility, and long sight lines. Only go here if you need to go for an objective. Most of the damage types in the game are kinetic. That means they do less damage to shields and armour. You are much more vulnerable when your shield is gone. It's best to hang back and ensure it's fully up again when dealing with NPCs. Melee damage is also considered kinetic. If you look at a kill report, you'll see 50 damage against shield and 75 against armor. You can drop items for other players. This can either be used to support your squad mates or potential bait to lure other players out into the open. Click on the I button, type in what you want to drop and it will spit out a player loot box. No confirmation of how many boxes you can have out at once. Sadly, my testing was rudely interrupted. So there you have it, my top tips you may have missed in the EU Vanguard playtest. Let me know in the comments anything you've learned in game that's proven most effective.